Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you all the updates. It's been a while since I made a video and I'm sorry about that. I just really over the winter I have trouble getting motivated and anytime I do get to work on the cars or anything I just do it here and there and it's sporadic so it's really hard for me to film. I'm going to try to do better about that but now summer's here so it should be a lot easier for me. So let's get to it. Here's the Civic. It does have a motor in it finally. So it's got a Prackworks carbon intake manifold on it now. The motor's in. I ended up making some changes with the motor mounts. I went with Hosport, the black billet ones. I ended up doing an aluminum radiator. There will be more changes to this car as we go, but I'll kind of go over that when it be, when the time comes. You can see the harness is pulled back out of the bay and it's stripped. I'm going to tuck the harness. I kind of want to go with a different look on the car. It's going to be not as period correct. I mean, as you can tell, the intake manifold. The next big thing is this. So as you can tell, the E30 is gone. It was a hard decision to make. I'd been thinking about it for a few months. I just, I was into the car a lot, but the chassis just needed a lot more than I wanted to put into it. And I just, it was perfect for a wheel to wheel race car. It just wasn't what I wanted it to be for my style. So, I just, and the money I had to put into it, I was just at that point, I was like, oh, is it really worth it? And I decided against going back to racing. I'm gonna do track days and stuff, but I just, the money involved and the time involved to do like a program, a race program is just insane. I give the guys that do it props. It just wasn't something that I wanted to get back into. I never had, I had fun doing it, but it also always turned into like, a headache so I want to just go back to tracking and just having fun hanging out with my friends so that is what this is for and then this eventually when this thing gets done if it ever gets done so sorry for the mess in here they have been working on the barn so I got my cabinets the new age cabinets in here the mr. cool mini split a couple countertops I did get a, a black set of they're kind of garbage but their uh, rear quarter interior panels for an EG because if you saw, maybe you caught it earlier, I'm doing a roll bar in the car. I wanna do full interior though. So I want the, I got those pieces to practice cut so the roll bar could go through them perfectly and just be a perfect circle. I kinda wanna give the car like a GT car feel and just be super clean factory roll bar and stuff like that. So. We'll see how that goes. It, I'm waiting on an engine harness still for the motor. Uh, I went with a Wireworks harness and it's all mil spec. So it's gonna be tucked, but it's not gonna be crazy tucked. It's gonna be, be super clean. That's the goal with this, with the EG now is it's going to just be a super, super clean build. Something more along the lines of what um, I would build now before I was kind of trying to build the car to how I would build it when I was in high school, but now I, I, my build style has progressed a little bit, so I would like to just go with that now, which is why I did some changes to it. And you'll see those slowly, but surely we'll get to them. Let's talk more about the Elise. It's a 05. Scott, I know all you question, are gonna question what's in there. Uh, unfortunately, it isn't a K. It's still the 2ZZ Toyota motor. Let's see if this is open. So it's kind of dirty a little bit. It it needs some work. There's some carbon pieces in there for the car. It's uh, the car is far from perfect. It it needs a little bit of work. Not anything like. I mean, it's not a 10 out of 10. It's probably 
overall I'd say an eight right now. It's got a little bit of damage on the front clam, which is kind of hard to fix. Right there you can see the little bit of damage from just a little bit of scrapes. It's got some oxidation on the headlight covers, but these all come out. We'll kind of do, I'm gonna try to refinish them before I replace them. Um, just got the paint needs some correction. It's also got some old, if you can see in the reflection right there, it's original PPF from uh, 2005. So it's starting to crack in the front, the PPF is. It's got it along the door sills. And then in the back, you can see it's really starting to, to weather crack. Sorry, the car's really dirty too, but it's got nice exhaust on it, diffuser. It's got the good old Regamasters on it. So some carbon pieces here and there. We'll kind of go over the car more as I start to work on it and clean it up. But I just wanted to show you guys it and kind of introduce it to the channel. So now let's give you an update on the barn. Walk through here. It is finally spray foamed. They did a really good job. They did closed cell on the walls, open cell on the ceiling. So that's why the ceiling kind of looks like popcorn. It's just, it's softer. You can actually like, uh, let's see if we can do it right here. Yeah, see my finger kind of pokes into it. It'll absorb water if you spray it enough. Um, where the walls are rock hard. So uh, there's six inch approximately on the roof for the open cell and about inch and a half, two inches on the walls for the closed cell, which is approximately the same value. You have to use more of the open cell compared to the closed cell. As you can see, I got my mower in here and this, I don't know if I showed yet the results of the wrap on the 135, but it's done with a Nazatec Army Green. It turned out amazing. We did some new trim pieces, new grills, new emblems, new headlights. I have carbon mirrors for it, but we did them in black and I kind of like the look of them. And I want to do overly too much carbon. We're going to do a carbon splitter on it. And it's got the OEM BMW carbon optional rear spoiler. So it is almost done. Needs coilovers and that splitter. And hopefully she'll want to do that soon. That's Felicia's baby. We'll see if, if I could talk her into it soon. She really doesn't want to lower it, but it, it needs it. It's got a little too much wheel gap. But All right, everyone. Well, that's an update of kind of what's going, been going on here. Like I said, sorry again for not having update videos and showing the process of like putting the motor in and stuff, but it just, it was hard enough for me to like find time to come out here when it was cold, let alone to um, actually do the work. Like I don't have a normal heater mounted in here, so I have to heat it as I come in and it's just, the floor is still cold and it's just kind of miserable. So waiting on the engine harness still. So then after that, I can finish plumbing the fuel line stuff because I got to do some custom stuff because the car was carbureted. So the lines, for the fuel injection don't come up as high, but I'm also gonna tuck the lines a little bit just to kind of clean it up a little and show off some of the parts a little more instead of showing all the factory stuff. And then for the Elise, I gotta do some basic maintenance to it to make sure it's ready to go tail the dragon in a few months. And then also just do some upgrades that are known issues on these cars if you track them, but We'll continue with that next time. So thanks again for watching. And please like, subscribe, and uh, comment what you want to see and maybe different ways I can improve the channel because I'm really trying to, this year I want to focus on really what you guys want to see. So, all right, thanks a lot.